The Mark I is back in my garage and in this video I'm going to be fitting a full silicon hose kit. The owner of the car has chosen a stony race and full silicon hose kit. Now why would you change from the original rubber hoses to a silicon hose kit? Well if you haven't already you're pretty lucky but it will happen at some point. A few of the original hoses do actually like to expand and explode spewing coolant everywhere. So this silicon hose kit is actually thicker and more reinforced than the standard rubber hose kit. They should withstand the test of time and obviously they look cooler and you could pick them in whatever color you want. The owner of this car has chose green. So without further ado, let's jack this car up, take the under tray off and start draining the coolant out. So to drain the coolant, if you've got a standard radiator, you can use the drain bung right in the center of the radiator there. I've had really bad experiences with these in the past. They are a plastic bung in a plastic radiator. They do like to crack and never go back in. So I do favor taking off the lower radiator hose. Again, be very careful doing this. The hose does like to seize onto the plastic radiator. So what I'd suggest doing is moving the radiator hose clip out of the way along the pipe and then using a blunt object like a pick Work around the edge of the hose and work it all free and then carefully slide it off. Try not to use a great big pair of grips because you may damage the plastic part of the radiator. And then you're gonna have to replace the radiator. When you're doing this, make sure the car is cold because if not, there's gonna be pressure in the system. It's gonna be full of hot liquid and more than likely you're gonna burn yourself. Most commonly, this little pipe down the back here, connecting the block to the heater matrix, is the one that bursts first. Now, if you can see, this pipe has actually been joined because it previously has burst, and that's the whole reason we're fitting the silicon hose kit today. So while the coolant is draining out, I'm gonna remove the intake system, open up the silicon hoses, and work out which hose goes where. So I've worked out where a majority of these go. So I think I'm gonna start off with the main front five, pipe that goes from the intake to the idle control valve, the upper main water pipe, the two smaller pipes that come off the thermostat housing, and the crank ventilation breather hose. So these clips are really awkward to get off and there's a few methods to do it. The first is with a pair of pliers, but that can slip out. Second method is a special pair of pliers that lock in. Or you can get a special tool that winds in and that won't slip off, and then you can slide it down the pipe. Again, because this is a plastic radiator, don't use a pair of grips to loosen this off. Put a pick in it and work it round and loosen it off, and then wiggle it off carefully. So these pipes can be really tight to get on and the last thing you want to do is force the plastic and break it. So if you put a little bit of Vaseline on the inside, this should help it slide on nice and easy.
These two pipes that go to the heater matrix from the block are the hardest to remove, so you've got to be really careful when you're taking them off. We'll take the brand new dipstick out of the way so we don't break that. The pipes that go to the heater matrix are made out of copper, so the last thing you want to do is use a pair of pliers and squash the pipe. So I'd suggest using a right angled pick, working it in behind the pipe and loosening the pipe off of the heater matrix. This one's completely seized on and I don't want to risk damaging the pipe to the heater matrix. And because we're going to be changing it anyway, I'm going to cut this one off. The other ends of these two pipes are really hard to get to, so I'm going to do those off of camera. So that was an absolute nightmare. I removed the washer bottle and the cold air intake for the warm air intake, and both pipes were seized to the block. I ended up putting Jubilee clips on these as I didn't want the old clips to crush the pipes. Now I'm going to change the two lines on the expansion tank. Remember, be careful when you're removing these as the rubber pipes are going into plastic fittings. The last one up the top is for the brake booster. The lower radiator pipe splits into two parts and the back half is easiest to get from inside the engine bay. So what I'm going to do now is take the air box out so I can get to that rear pipe. So we'll start off by unplugging the mass sensor and then removing the cold air intake. Now you can see the rear lower rad hose. Well, this isn't meant to happen. This metal part here between the rear and the front lower radiator hose is actually meant to be attached to the car but with this off the car i'm going to take the pipes off and clean this all up and reinstall it with the new pipes So the lower pipe's connected to the radiator, all that's left to do is fill the system with coolant. With the funnel filled, we're going to start the car, let it run up to temperature and make sure all the air is out of the system. We're going to keep an eye out for any leaks and make sure the fans come on. So the fan has just turned off which means it's time to remove this funnel. So that's the silicon hose kit all fitted. If you learned anything or this video helped you, leave a comment down below and a like and subscribe if you're new. Start off by unplug, unplug.